Hey guys, Jenna here. Welcome to my channel where I take you on tours of tiny and unique homes. In this week's episode, we're gonna meet Shelly and Randy who have recently downsized into a homemade, gorgeous school bus tiny home. Recently retired from their kaleidoscope making business, you can see that this couple has put in a lot of artistry and ingenuity into the build. They have a clever bedroom that becomes an art studio, a multi-level roof raise with several skylights, and an appreciation for one-of-a-kind materials. If you like these kind of videos, please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know every single time I publish a new tour. But right now, let's jump right in and take a tour of Shelly and Randy's beautiful schoolie. Hi guys, I'm Randy Knapp. And I'm Shelly. And we'd like to welcome you to our home, Miss Mary. I used to play with Barbie dolls and I would get a shoebox and I would turn it into a motorhome. And so she would go traveling up and down our hallway. I had no idea I was planting the seed for this lifestyle. We were living the American dream, basically. We're both artists. For 31 30, years. 31 years. Yeah. It was all about making a kaleidoscope. And we were really blessed to have that, yeah. that life. After 31 years of doing this, there was just something more out there talking to me, something pulling at me. And I guess I have a wandering soul, I don't know. I took her to the beach one time and we walked out on the beach and she sat on a log and she started crying. And she was like, I needed to be here and I missed this. I never knew that she had a desire to travel. She said, this is what I want to do, will you do it? And I said, this isn't my dream, but you've done what I wanted. So I'm like, I'm going to go with you. I'll go with you. I can do it. I wanted more. That led to the bus, I guess. <laughs> Randy has always said, someday I want to build my own home. I want to build it myself. So now, jokingly, I tell him, I said, you did build a home. We just didn't realize it was going to be on wheels. Going into the project, he told me six months. Oh, uh, we'll have it done in six months. It seemed like that. It took about a year and a half. <laughs> People said, double your expectations. I'm a tripler, what can I say? This bus, all in, is somewhere around 60 grand in it. And that doesn't include a year and a half of eight Labor. hours, six, six days, days a, week. a week. The money was important, but also it was more, we were building a home. We wanted it to, to be comfortable the way we wanted to live. I feel like I'm broke even already. If the bus completely broke down or accidentally rolled off a cliff and was totaled, I'd be like, it was worth everything I learned and the experiences that I've had the people that I've met in the process of doing it, it's so uh, worth it. I would do it. it again. I'd do it again. Miss Mary is a 40 foot 2004 Thomas safety liner. She's got an 8.3 Cummings engine and an Allison 3060 transmission. That's the standard height of the bus right there. And there's a 16 inch roof raise here. And then at the back, we went up 24 inches so that we had room for the Murphy bed back there. He got to choose the color on the I outside. Did. That was all him. That's all I, I got. Everything else in here, that's all her. Yeah. I got one thing, people, and it's green. And that's why it's so green, right? That was my choice. That's right. It's cool. not hard to find where we're parked. No, that's one you, of the beauties of it. It's you like, can definitely see I don't us. know where we're at. Oh, wait, I see a bright green <laughs> thing. That's us. We're over there. When we wanted to put in the propane cabinet, I found the cavity in behind and we cut the hole for the cabinet and then we just pop riveted a rim around the metal that was already there, ventilated the floor and put the tanks in there. The under bays were not here when we got the bus. We had to put these in from scratch. Underneath we put the 45 gray on both sides. So in the middle of the sea frame there's a 100 gallon fresh water and straddling it on each side is 45 gray, so we can put in 100 fresh and catch 90 in the gray. 
And, uh, and then this is all insulated. So we don't have to worry about freezing because all of our stuff is in the heated area. Up here you see these fairings down the side. We repurposed the air conditioner vents from the inside of the bus. We used that metal and those holes are actually the air ducts for the AC. We knew going in that we were just going to put new tires all the way around. So we put traction tires on the back so we could go into snow and stuff. I don't want to do that, but if I get in a situation, I got tractions on the back and steer tires up on the front. The standard emergency exit door was midship on this thing. So we moved the door back here and just built a whole new door. These were the original windows that were all the way down the side of the bus. There was two of these on every seat. And uh, so we had plenty of this to work with. So it's just got a big piano hinge. It's nice and sturdy. It's got a standard RV latch on it. Over here, we've got the fresh water in here. And then here's our shore power in, which we've got uh, 30 amp shore power in. When we built this door, the doors that we had were broken first off, so it was a necessity. We basically robbed the hinges off of it and just built a one by three frame and went from there. The structure of it dictated where the handle went. We cut the windows in, had the skin on, and then I took after it one morning with the angle grinder and put the swirls on it. Down here it says Randy Hart Shelly. Shelly was a little freaked when she saw it. And I said, but I saved the inside for you. And she's like, no, 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 I can't believe you did that. So I gave her a scrap piece of metal and showed her how it worked. And then she did this. So now you can see, you know, how different the inside is. So let's head on in and look at the rest of the bus. Welcome to our home. One of the things that I chose to do in the design is not put up our cabinets. I wanted a nice open feeling in the living environment. By not putting those upper cabinets, I felt like we really achieved that. And then also having the natural light come in. So with the big house windows, we can totally flood this bus with light. And then the two skylights that are in the front. Pure light is the best light source. Having the house windows gave me the advantage to do a block out blinds that you would normally have in a house. The bus kind of tapers up so they don't hang straight. And as you're traveling down, they would kind of clank against the wall. So what we did is we popped off the end cap right here, stuck a piece of metal inside, and then we attached magnets down on both sides of our window sills. So now you can drop it down and they get locked into place. This is one of my favorite things in the bus. This is a twin size mattress. We just bought the twin size mattress on Amazon. We bought the bolsters. So I used the mechanism like a swimming pool, like a, a lounge chair, right? So you can adjust this to the angle you want. The TV swings around and you can put this to multiple angles back here and have a little bit of a recline at relax time. It's a clounger. It's not a couch. It's not a lounger, people. It's a clounger. <laughs> when it comes to TV, we'll just turn this chair and bring this one up and put our feet up on here and the other one gets to be on the clounger. Another thing that was important for me was to bring in some of our art that we had collected over the years as kaleidoscope artists. People always ask, you know, what do you do with your art? It was a sacrifice that I'm willing to make. I wrap everything up before we travel and secure it in the kitchen cabinets or something so they're safe when we're traveling. And then I just get them out and I get to enjoy them. That's just who Randy and I are and we needed that in our living environment. This particular art piece, as funny as it is, has hung in our bathroom for years. We got it at an art festival up in Seattle, Washington, and I just, I fell in love with it. At one point, we thought we were gonna put a shelf here to display art. And then I went, ah, oh, wait, my picture. Maybe it'll fit there perfectly, and, and it, it did. 
In the original design of the kitchen, the sink was gonna be on the other side of the bus. At the time, we were limited on kitchen cabinets, and this is the only cabinet that was available in our area for a sink. And so Randy's like, well, that's okay. I always wanted a big sink anyway. So yes, we did maximize for a great big sink because we both like to cook and work in the kitchen together. We made a cutting board that can come over top of the sink and totally utilize the space and give us another countertop to work on. And then the wood that's on the top right here of the sink is called zebra wood. It's an exotic wood that we used to use when we made kaleidoscopes. A lot of the wood that's in the bus is woods that we used in our kaleidoscope career. Little did we know that they would end up in our bus. <laughs> We chose to go with a 10 cubic foot high efficiency fridge, but because both Randy and I are tall, the one thing we did decide to do is we lifted the fridge up and we put a dry good pantry underneath. And we have this huge countertop to work on. This is bigger than what we had in our home. So Randy and I are really, really loving this. Randy came up with this shelf idea. This is so handy to have the spices right here. We love having that. Because we both like to cook, Randy wanted a full size range. I said, no, I want more counter space, but I did a lot of research and he did finally give in. I won over. There's four burners. We're not down to three. And this is not an RV. This is an apartment size. It's deep. So you can totally get a full size cookie sheet inside the oven. We did kind of like a pocket door, but we used a closet roller up here and then you can just slide it closed. And then there's also one in the back and so you can separate from each other and then the other thing that was important to me is i had kind of an inspiration board with quotes in my um, studio i asked randy if we could put cork boards on here somehow so that we could just put those little reminders of what life is all about uh, we had the opportunity to put in a pantry which i love our pull-out pantry so it goes all the way down and we custom built this and I wanted to also utilize the, the wood that was throughout the bus. So the big leaf maple is here. And then we had some um, highly figured purple heart, which is what this wood is here. And so this was kind of my design element that Randy let me play with. So with the wood that we had left over from doing the rest of the bus, this is what I come up with. And I kind of did the stripe to kind of pull you back into the back of the bus down here through the middle. So one thing I wanted to do in the bathroom was break up the continuity of the floor going all the way through the bus. So we decided to go with rock tile and I love how that turned out. We went with the natural look and the natural flat stone and it was really, really fun and challenging to put it all together to make it look seamless. So when it came to putting the shower in here, I wanted a five foot bathtub, but the reality of thinking about how this lifestyle was really gonna work, you know, the five foot bathtub is over into this room and it messed everything up. And the amount of water it would have taken was ridiculous. So we went with this standard 32 inch shower. I chose to put in this three piece wall kit because it's lightweight, it's flexible. I don't have to worry about the tiles cracking and falling off. I cut a window in it so that we could get ventilation right to the max fan here. I wanted this to be easily accessible for maintenance. And I also wanted to have the proper clearances around it so that the stuff could stay cool and then hopefully I'll get a 10 year or longer lifespan out of this equipment. We got 1200 watts of solar up on the roof. Come to the desert, free energy. Combiner box, charge controller, the Multi Plus, 12 volt panel is up there. The 110 panel is here. There's shutoffs for everything. It's all been working perfect. 12 years ago, I got back into quilting. This is an award-winning quilt. It was in quilt shows. It was published in a book, but now we get to use it, you know, in the bus and on our bed. So it's fun to surround yourself with things that you make. So the beauty of the Murphy bed is because of the rear engine in this bus, it gave us all this access for storage back here. So on both sides, we have a closet. When this is all closed and the bed is up, this becomes a sound barrier when we're traveling and we don't even hear the motor back here. And then a question asked all the time, how do you travel with the baskets? So we just simply bungee cord from here to here. 
and it holds everything in place. So to put the bed up, what we have to do, the pillows just get tucked in here and then it raises up. And then she gets locked in place, both sides. Now we have what we call our great room. These are the feet for the bed, but this also becomes my art studio. So for an art studio, this gets lifted up. The feet now become shelves that I can put some of my artwork on. It was really important for me to have a lot of light back here and to flood the room with light. So I positioned the windows and the door so we could flood the room. And then the skylights up above too. It came down to this for me. You want to live the same day over and over and over for the next 20 years, or do you want to walk off the path and live a new day and learn new things and push yourself? I'm just overjoyed every morning. I'm like, I get to live this way. Don't be afraid to have a dream and go after it because dreams can come true. We're a living example of that. Our bus feels like home to me. Randy made my dream come true by building me a bus. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching this week's video. Please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you soon with another tiny or unique home tour.